Good day beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. This is Avi Wedge. Today I'm not going to teach anything. I feel so sad to talk about a very special person. A famous designer who has inspired and affected my life so much in fashion designing. She is a woman of valor, a born tutor, ever smiling, innocent looking woman, Madame Biliki's signature. I feel so sad to hear of your predicament. I must say, you are a very strong and courageous woman to have come out to, to speak to the public about what you are going through. I pray that you get the justice that you deserve soonest. And for all your videos that were deleted, what can I say? I feel so sad. It pains me so much because anytime I am confused about um, uh, my designing, I usually I will just rush, rush to um, Bilke's signature open them just type the name of what style i want and it will come out i will just watch it most times i download them at times i will just watch them online like that and now the videos are no more it is well it is well they say one when one road closes another opens i believe that you have tarried enough where you are and god is taking you somewhere the videos have affected a lot of nigerians and a lot of other peoples in other countries so let's all come out if you have human sympathy and if you know that madame bilikis has touched your life in one way or the other please let's all share this video so that she can get the justice that she deserves please share this video and if you like this video please subscribe to this channel if you have not done that before and turn on the notification bell so you can always get notified anytime we upload video Please kindly listen to her voice. She is going to talk to you right now about all that she has passed through this um, period so that you know how she, how she felt in the whole thing. And I believe after listening to her, you will be touched. And I know God will help her get justice that she deserves. Thank you. Hello, everyone. I want more people to come online. I really want more people to come online. Yes, his name is Ademola Adeshino Latif. Yes. He came all the way from Kuwait because he doesn't stay in the country. He came all the way from Kuwait to abduct my kids with talks. His mother was with him. His sister Rukayat was with him. His brother really one was with him. And for other talk, his cousin, Kola Galis Atadeba, was also with him. Right now, I can't just keep calm. Everybody has been telling me to keep calm because kids are involved. But right now, I don't know where my kids are. I don't know where my kids are. Something he couldn't do there in Kuwait. He cannot try that there in Kuwait. But right now, he's doing that. Everybody has been telling me to keep calm. But I can't just keep calm because my kids are involved. I don't know where they are. He lives with my car. I'm going to put up the registration of my car. I'm going to put it out there. My phone, it was the one that deleted all my videos. How can you do that? This was the man that took that my, uh, my YouTube earning for two years was paid into his account. But when I saw that he was exploiting me, I had to change the account. And right now, this is all he has to pay for it. Coming to abduct. The name of this my children's school is Spring of Life at Lakowe. Yes, they were abducted right there in front of the school. The, prince, uh, the proprietors witnessed it and I have not seen any reaction from them. The head teacher, Mr. Sheontu, was involved. Please, now I want you to help me. I think I've been of help to Nigerians. I want Nigerians to help me. I don't know where my kids are. Fauzi and Jasim Ademola, I don't know where they are. And their father is Ademola Latif. Adesh, you know, he lives in Kuwait. I didn't know he was around. He came with talks. There were 10 of them. Yeah, The mom was with them. The sister Rukayat was with them. The brother really one was with them. Then the cousin Kola was also with them. He lives in Adeba. Yes. I'm going to put up all their details. I'm going to put up all their details because this is it's not just right. Something you can't try in Kuwait and you come here to do that. The first day I experienced it, I was in shock. I was I was almost running mad, but I just had to like pick myself together <laughs> you 
yes i've reported i've reported but this issue is like is a is a is a family issue and all that but how why would you attack me with thugs with your mother being there with your sister with your brothers your cousin this this is it i'm gonna put out all their numbers in, in as we try to like get in touch with them they tell us wrong number even my parents trying to get to them they are telling us wrong number this is just getting out of and you don't do that these are the people that that, that makes people outside the country things that nigeria is, is a very bad country you don't do that i'm going to post out i'm going to post all all their details their phone number then the registration of my car it went with my laptop with my phone even my number 0706257 is with him right now. He's the one operating it right now because I've been trying to block it. I've been unable to block it because I've been down. I've been in shock and it's, it's been serious. Really. How can you? Okay, everybody has been telling women to walk and we've been walking. We've been striving. And then you just go out of what to pull down all my YouTube page. I don't know where my kids are. Something must be done. This is not a Nigeria of yesterday. Something must be done. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone. I've contacted all the human rights and all that, but I just think I need to come out for people to, to assist me. I'm going to put out his details, his, his quiet phone number, because he just came. I don't know he was around. Nobody is saying you can't have access to your children, and all you have to do is to come and abduct them in front of their school. The name of their school is Spring of Life. A lack of where they, my children were kidnapped in their school uniform. They were abducted in their school uniform. Spring of life, yes. They came and caused a scene, serious scene, in their school uniform. And now the kids are not even in school, he's not bothered. I wonder what kind of human being he is. If we are separated, that is not it. I try as much as possible to be, to, to be calm with you, to say, okay, let us talk. Come down and let us talk about the custody of these children. I'm going to put out the registration of the car. I'm going to put out his name, his picture, the picture of my kids. I'm going to put everything out there. Please, I need your help. Please, I need your help. Help me share this everywhere. I'm going to put out his pictures, everything out there, because this is just unfair. Everybody's been telling me, okay, to calm down, that, okay, kids are involved. And we are trying to reach out for you to solve it amicably. And you are telling me, you have done that, you have done that. There's nothing I can do in a country that, 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 that has laws. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone. I really need your help now. Because right now, I don't even know where the kids are. We try to reach them. They are not forthcoming. It's, it's, so, it's so sad. We both have right to these kids. They are, yes, you are their father, but we both have rights to these kids. And these are kids that have never left me before. And then you just pick the, abducted them to keep them somewhere. When you are not living, even living in Nigeria. Even if there's a receipt from the mother not to allow you to see your kids, which is not the case. You go to the police station or to human rights and they invite me. We are educated here. Not just coming with thugs, with your family to, to abduct my children. Then imagine how traumatized those kids are going to be. Kids has never ever experienced all this. What they eat. Because these kids are uh, what they eat. How they live. The condition of all that. You just come to abduct them. And then you just go and keep them somewhere. With maybe your father. I don't, because I don't know right now. I don't know where my kids are. Because if fine I'm traumatized. Because if not because of the grace of God. I wouldn't even have been standing here. But I could, like, you know, gather up myself and, uh, 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 and just, you know, get out of the shock and still try to reach out to you, but you're not forthcoming. You say you've been trailing me for two months. Why would you trail me? What have I done? I'm a, I'm, I'm, I'm a social media person. I'm easygoing. I don't discuss my private life on social media, no. And these are children I take good care of. You are their father. Nobody is disputing that. And that is how you would come. To, to, to repay me for taking care of your children for you. I just, I can't imagine how traumatized my children, my, my children will be right now. Fauzi and Jassim, wherever they are. I can't imagine the condition they had living in right now. Nigerians, please, you need to come to my, I'm going to post this picture. I'm going to put the name of the mom, the, their numbers. I'm going to put it out there. 
That is just height of it. Nobody is telling you you can't have access to, to, to your kids. These are things we talk amicably, not you coming all the way from Kuwait. How can you come, something you cannot do there in Kuwait, and then you come here with thugs. Four thugs are, 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 are approach me initially, assaulting me, hitting me with scars on my body just to collect my phone, because that was the first thing is there said. Please don't let her call anybody, collect her phone, collect her phone. How can you do this? And your, you came with your mom, your sister Ruka, your brother really one, your cousin Kola that lives at Adeba, and you guys have your family at home. Nobody is de de depriving you of your access to your kids. No, they are your kids. And I don't have problem with that. But these are things we should talk over, not just abduct. These are kids that have never left me before. I don't know, just imagine. It will never leave their memory. They were going to school with their mom because the kids were about to like, mom, goodbye, see you later and all that. Going down with their lunchbox and these talks came. Four of them first before he showed up. With the mother, the sister, they caused a scene. They created a scene because the proprietors had to come out. The head teacher, Mr. Shewan, has to come out. And even nothing has been heard from them. Even a woman had to face him. He was even about to injure the child of this woman. And these are the reason why I separated from, from him because he's a violent man. All he wants is for me to hustle and, and, and then you embezzle it. This is a man that received my YouTube earning for two years. It was being paid into his account. This was a man I, I, I made sure I got properties here for. I did everything a, a woman could do for a man. And this is how you could repay me. Then you go to my YouTube page, pull down all my videos. How can you do that knowing that is the major source of my income? And this income is being used to take care of your children. How can you think like that in a lawful country? You came all the way from Kuwait to do this. That's serious. Thank you so much. I've reported to the right authorities. I've reported this. The human rights are taking steps on it. Yes, but I just wanted to share my video. Let it get to the, to the, to the governor. Let it get to the, uh, the, to the state justice anywhere. Just please help me share it. I'm going to put out their pictures. I'm going to put out everything on YouTube because this is not right. Because if this is not stop, he has, he has always been a violent person. Domestic violence, a lot of it, right in front of my children. I can't just take it, just imagine. Still, I left quietly. You should have let it be. I even gave you room that we could talk about this. Thank you, everyone. Please share this video, share this video. My name is Blakis, Erin Lebilikis. I know that is my name. The name of the father of my kids is Ademola Latif Adeshino. The name of my kids are Fauzi and Jasim Ademola. I'm going to put out their pictures. Then my car was stolen. My laptop was stolen. My two phones were stolen. I'm going to put everything out there. Please help me. Please share this video. Everybody has been trying to, like, you know, we're reaching out to them too. To talk it out because kids are involved but they are not forthcoming and then he just he told me he has done that just to show me he can collect his no i have access to my kids too so please do something let me share it i'm going to put out the details out there thank you very much